Hi, I'm Skyler. And I'm Narayan. And we made a game called the L Game, and this is going to be a tutorial to show you how it works. So, the aim of the L Game is to move your L in such a way that the opponent is unable to move his or her L. So, you're able to move your L to any available spot on the board, and you can translate it, rotate it, and reflect it and you're also allowed to move the coins. So when it's your turn, you can move your L to any available spot, even if, you're, even if the spot is not touching your L. And then you have the option of moving one, but not both, of the coins. Then after that, it's your opponent's turn. And then the, when your opponent is unable to move at all, then you have won. We're going to go ahead and play the game here to show you how it works. You start by clicking the green flag, which resets it. Um, and uh, I don't know what we said before, the, the blue block is us, the player, and the red block is the computer. And the coins don't belong to either one of us. Either one of us can use them. Um, so it's the, the player start uh, to start. Uh, I'm going to move. To move, you just click and drag. Uh, my blue block over here, I can turn it or rotate it using the arrow keys left goes uh, counterclockwise, right goes clockwise, and then the up button flips it. So I can flip it like that. Um, and I'm going to move it, it started here, I'm going to move it about here, and when I'm done I click it, click it, and it snaps into place, and over here you can see that little green flag turn into a red stop sign, which means it's thinking don't move. Uh, when the green flag shows up that means it's ready to go, your turn. Um, and now I have the option of moving one of the coins. I think I will. I'm gonna move this coin. How about this one here? When I'm done, when I move it to where I want, I click it. it snaps into place. Um, and after, uh, you can only move one of the coins. So if I try to move the other one, it won't let me. Also, if I try to move the red block, which is my piece, I'm not allowed. It tells me. It tells me how it is. So then I'm gonna press space when I'm done with my turn. I just press space, and now the computer's thinking it's, it's a red stop sign here, which tells me not to go. The computer moved there, and it's still thinking of possible positions. It's kind of mirror imaging me. Now it's my turn again. I'm going to go, hmm, how about here? And then I click. Turn the green flag. And this time I'm not going to move a coin. I have the option to move one or not. Uh, so I'm just going to press space to end my turn. And now it's the computer's turn. Oh, he's trying to mirror me in this one. I'm going to move. Oh, wait till this turns green. But uh, we kind of switched from where it was in the beginning, only reversed. I'm going to move here now. Click. Just waiting for this to turn green before I can make move my coin. I'm going to move the coin here. Click. I hit space to end my turn. And this might go on a little while because the game can actually go on indefinitely right. with two perfect players. Right. So that means it's possible for neither player to win or lose. We'll stop there for the sake of the tutorial, but that's the L game. I uh, hope you liked it. It was a simple but challenging game. So thanks for watching.